Memorial Day weekend, a time to pay tribute to service members we have lost. It can be difficult to honor a loved one and write an obituary, which is where companies like Mays Printing come in. Mays is one of the nation's largest memorial printers in the country, and for the past 78 years, they've handled the printed and online obituaries and legacy tributes for generations. Here to tell me more is CEO Elizabeth Mays. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. Thank you for yes. having me. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you could, tell me more about your family's business. It began in 1946. It did, absolutely. Uh, my grandfather um, was a graduate of Wilberforce University studying journalism. And after he graduated college, he was enlisted into the military, um, also known as the Tuskegee Airmen. Um, and upon his discharge, he left um, Ohio. And then, um, I mean, after leaving his discharge, he moved to Detroit and he started his own business um, at that time called Valley Publishing. And then after about a year later, he decided to change it into his family's name, which is Mays. Okay. Now, what mm -hmm. led him to what led him to start the company and uh, as well as to focus on funeral printing? Yeah. Um, so when my grandfather was in college, he studied journalism. And while he was also in the military, he had a really big thing for also photojournalism. So documentation has been a thing for my grandfather for as long as yeah, I'm pretty sure he has been, a, you know, in his practice. And when he moved to Detroit, one of the things I think a lot of people are familiar with when it comes down to um, black culture is memorial programs and making sure that you're documenting your family's life and documenting your family's legacy. And because because my grandfather has always been very big on that, Memorial Programs was the first pro, uh, particular product that he started to offer um, within the printing industry for the company. Okay. All right. What are some of the, uh, the high-profile memorials you've all uh, helped with oh. over the years? Oh, man, absolutely. Um, so we do a lot of political work. So we've done work for, like, Congressman Louis Stokes. We've done work for um, Daisy Elliott. Um, a lot of people know us well known for the program that we did for Rosa Parks, um, which was a beautiful tribute. I think it was about a 24-page program. Mm -hmm. um, we've done work for Joe Louis. Um, it, the, the, the list goes on and on. Um, Mays has been a very, very instrumental and anchor um, in the city of Detroit and even nationwide when it comes down to dual memorial programs because I think we have have a particular special touch um, and of course legacy is very very big in our family I'm third generation um, our business is 78 years so documentation and making sure that you are carrying on your family's information is one of the most important things to do all right excellent well to that point what's the most important thing you know about writing a tribute or obituary that people can keep in mind Ooh. I would say right now if you can get the information from your loved one or even yourself I'm a big big person I'm always making sure that I'm listing information regarding my accolades and my successes and always putting it in a very safe space um, because no one's going to be able to tell your story like you um, I have a lot of families that I sit down and work with and they're writing the program and I get about you know into like three or four paragraphs and I, I'm like stop I'm like we really need to like deep dive into their life tell me where they went to school, what was their best practices, what hobbies did they have, what organizations they belonged to. It's so important that you literally go from the moment that you were alive to um, where you are in your life and constantly document, always making sure that you're listing um, everything that's monumental or milestone in your life. Okay, and I understand you've recently launched uh, Valley Publishing. How do you uh, yes. help publish life stories? We're publishing life stories in the moment. Um, um, we've done work for uh, several entrepreneurs and executives throughout the greater Detroit area that are actually documenting their stories right now, like Bernard White with White Construction. We just work with Dennis Archer. Um, and a lot of the work that we're doing is assisting authors, creatives, and writers from the start to the finish when it comes down to their book publishing process. So so right now, it's really exciting to be able to work with living legends um, because I know eventually at, um, at the end of the day, we all are going to leave. But if we can start documenting right now and passing on our legacy and telling our story and making sure that a lot of the youth know who we are, it's very, very important to document right now. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much for joining us, sharing your family's contribution to society with us and for the tips. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. All right, we will have all that information at WXYZ.com, and we'll be right back after the break.